folks, welcome to Kev's Shed. This time I'm going to have a go at making a, an elephant uh, planter box or a succulent planter box using this rough piece of firewood. Uh, I've just done a rough drawing of the sort of elephant that I want to do. But I think I'll do kind of a stylized elephant just to make it all a bit simpler. And that'll be roughly my elephant sort of, sort of stylized and then with a big hole in the top there. To save time, I'm using the bandsaw to remove the excess wood, but alternatively, uh, I could just use the turbo plane. I'm carving following the lines that I've drawn onto it previously, but as you carve, the lines, of course, disappear, so it may be necessary to redraw them. So now it's just a matter of removing all of the parts that don't look like an elephant. To carve the hole, I tried using both the ball gouge and the turbo shaft, both of which can be used for this purpose. Now I've just about finished the rough shaping, and so now what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the fine shaping uh, using the mini grinder with the sanding disc. So now I've set it up with the sanding disc, and uh, a nice feature now is I can use dust extraction. I put this on here. Also, this has got um, a variable speed, so I can slow it right down so it won't dig in and burn, um, and the disc will last longer. Well, I could go th through the uh, different grits and sand this up really fine, but for this sort of project, I think it's okay to leave it fairly rough because it's going to be out in the weather anyway. So what I, what I usually do with this sort of piece is just cover it with decking oil. I've got some uh, decking oil with an Oregon stain on it, which will make it a little bit darker, and I think that'll look lovely. So the good thing about decking oil is it sets hard and it's very good in the weather. Thank you. 